Hi, this is John Bush, the development manager of the RSmart Group. I'm going to be doing a quick demo of the iCodian score and player tool um, as it's integrated into Sakai. Um, so just a little bit about iCodian. They have a, uh, a Java version of their score and player that supports score 1, 2, uh, 1 1.2 and score 2004. It's a uh, um, built on top of Ajax. Um, it's built. They really focused, really built it in a way that allows it to be integrated quickly into really any LMS. Um, so you know, we found it pretty easy to actually integrate it into Sakai. So um, quickly, let's go into Sakai here. Um, what what we decided to do was we we really thought that people would want to use Swarm content, you know, in the context of any tool within Sakai. It's not really. Um, you know, it doesn't really need to be its own tool. So, the way we thought we would do that is to um, the content hosting service in Sakai has this notion of content resource types. So, when you click on Add here, you get all the different types that exist. Um, you know, OSP uses this for forms. So, we created this new Swarm package type. We called it, um, you know, Upload Content Package here. So, when you click on this, it'll bring bring you to our upload screen, tell you about what types of Swarm things are supported, and then um, you know, you would have to author the SCORM content with a, a separate tool. Um, usually that's a zip file, right? You just double click on that and then upload it. And then that'll bring in your SCORM package. I've now got a couple of these here. Get rid of that one. And if I simply click on this, um, that'll launch the player. So you could do it from inside resources like that. And this will bring me into the um, Icodian SCORM player. This particular SCORM is a typing test, so it'll take a little bit to load, but it shows off some of the more interactive features of SCORM. It's actually going to um, actually gives you some some uh, some letters to type, tests your speed, and then gives you some instruction, and then we'll kind of test your speed again at the end. We're not going to go through the whole thing, but. Um, just quickly so you can see begin lesson JJ FF JJ oh must go faster all right done 44 48 words per minute okay so let's get out of that and go back into Sakai and to show off um, since so since it's integrated resources, that means anything that's integrated with resources, you can put that content, right? So that was the whole idea. So, for example, Maletti, um, if I wanted to, you know, um, create some content here, I can add some content, you know, have my typing test, and then pick a file from resources. So I can go in here to the helper. I'm going to pick. This one I uploaded earlier. Save that off. All right, and then when I go to view it, and Maletti, here's my link. If I click on this, this will take us back into the player. Um, likewise, I've done one in assignments here earlier where I attached it as a, um, I put it in as a attachment to an assignment. So if we were to go to the student view and look at this, so this will click here, take the typing test, this will launch the SCORM. So <coughs> the idea is, um, since it's a content type, you can use it anywhere, resor you can use resources. The other thing I wanted to show real quick is, you know, when you're, when you're t um, taking all the SCORM, when you're using all the SCORM content, um, there's a bunch of statistical information that Icodian is collecting, you know, um, what types of activities you're, you're um, you're performing, um, how you're meeting those goals, you know, if you're completing um, the goals or not. So all that stuff, all that data is available in the SCORM and along with your activity and we've integrated it so all that data goes back into the same Sakai database. So you can see here um, all of the, the data that's coming through. With the We haven't actually done anything with the data yet. The idea is that, you know, you could write a report to show that or integrate it with a gradebook or, you know, any number of things you, you could use this data to help guide learner activity. So I um, hope you enjoyed the demo. That's all for now.